Well, first of all, uh, congratulations to Aguero because they were two outstanding players. Alan Shearer had the record for hat-tricks. That's been beaten today. And uh, Henri as an overseas goal scorer also. Um, and we know how good he was. So Aguero, you know, I think we have to tip our cap to him. Outstanding player, that low sense of gravity. No one seems to be able to get near him. Consistency, desire, keeps doing it. And he's winning trophies as well every year. And we wondered, didn't we, when Guardiola went there, did he seem dissatisfied with him? And I think he's taking him actually to another level. They won't win the Premier League this, this season, but I think we, you know, we're here tonight. We're dressed like this to honour Vincent Company at the uh, Soccer Writers Association dinner. And, um, you know, he was a truly great player for Vincent Company, but Aguero was every bit as good and every bit as important for Man City's success over the last 10 years. It's just phenomenal what they're doing. It's almost perfection. I think they've all got, almost gone a whole season in terms of games. Is it 38 games now that they've gone on beaten in? Uh, they really are a machine. And, you know, I think, you know, I look back and with people are comparing them with the Arsenal team, uh, certainly the managers, I mean, I look back to Arsene Wenger, he loved his players, literally loved his players. Uh, there's a respect thing um, and there's a knowledge and, you know, you work with the manager and, you you know, everyone gets along, shows that respect. But I think he loves his players. I, I'm watching him after the game, embracing the players, even the guy who comes off the bench. You know, at the end of the game, you know, we've worked hard, we, we, we love one another and we work to the next challenge. And they are just, sky's the limit for this group. They're so young. Um, there's a lot of development still to be, to be had. Um, but to go to Spurs as they did, totally dominate. I thought they dominated. Win the game, I felt, as a canter. Um, and they are really going from strength to strength. So I see that unbeaten record for Arsenal really in trouble. Uh, you look at the fixture list and it's hard to see where it now where the bump in the road is. They've got to go to Man City later in the season, but they are really well equipped now to go forward and win trophies. That's a huge blow to lose Aubameyang because he scores a huge slice of the Arsenal goals. Uh, difficult game coming up against Sheffield United. Um, Chris Wilder uh, has everyone's respect, the way that he sets up. So from a tactical point of view, he'll be analysing really well. He's got another seven days, which, is, which he's just had in between games, which I think is really important. I can see the improvements in the team. Certainly the first 45 minutes against Palace, way better, controlled the game. Kolasinac on that left, getting down the left was quite a feature. Aubameyang joining the front. So to lose him, yeah, is huge, but he's going to have to try and choose somebody else within the group and work with them. He's got seven days, as we say, to do that. Um, and he's got to keep passing these difficult steps that he's, he's, he's making both as a manager, he's a complete rookie as a manager, um, working with these, with these new players on the training pitch. Will he go into the transfer market? I'm sure that question will, will be posed. Um, in what areas does he, does he need to strengthen? And Torreira needs to come back into that midfield because he went off injured. So um, there's a bit of work to do, uh, but I think all in all, I think it's you know work in progress, but it's been a good appointment. He looks as if he's got the credentials to do very well. The players are on board with him. Um, Ozil looks as if he's a, a different player. Um, so yeah, big improvement in Arsenal, but need to get results now on the pitch.